Hey there friend, hope you're doing well. And today I wanna to take you through how I made this shirt in Character Creator and also Marvelous Designer. So I wanted to start off with my avatar here. So I'm gonna grab his uh, clothing and basically rip them off and we will uh, export this guy to bring into Marvelous Designer, which is a clothing um, program. So we're gonna export in the A pose because this is typically what they use inside of the software. So I'm gonna do file, export, OBJ, and character with the current pose. So we'll say okay to this with the Y being up. Give it a location here real quick. And we'll do save. Okay, so we have this guy. Let's close this and get into Marvelous designer here we don't need this right here okay so open this and we will bring in that avatar default import obj and find this guy here and we'll bring this in we want to uh, load as an avatar and we want to change it to centimeters Okay, so bring this guy in. You can see all the polygons, all that stuff. And uh, I'm gonna jump to kind of what I did here. This is the first shirt I've ever made. So basically just kind of trying to uh, document the process on how I created this. But I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit and um, show you how I made this shirt really quickly. Basically the first time I've been inside of Marvelous Designer and uh, working on something, so. I'm just gonna speed this up and we will see some of the end result at the end.
Okay, so we have the basic shirt here and uh, turned out okay for first shirt. Got some uh, little features on here like the buttons, buttonholes, some stuff around the uh, collar and the end of the sleeve. So I want to export this to an OBJ again. So we'll name this real quick. All right, so here we go. Um, when we export this, you want to not export the avatar unless you want to. Um, I did single object. One thing I should have done, which I didn't do when I exported this, was I should have probably um, I changed it to thin. And you can see that the normals are a little weird that turn to a black. Um, so I think I've got the normals on the sleeve flipped, but I did not take the time to reflip those. So um, that is what it is in this export, but I would double check all your normals on all the fabric. So export is centimeters again, because that's what we brought it in as. And then um, I think I did unwelded, but I think I would want to do welded next time I export this. So I'm going to say okay here and that is done. So what I did was I created a zip file. So if we go to, over here to character creator, do import, and then we'll find that uh, shirt and I need to unzip that zip file. Okay, so now we got a folder here and we will bring in this OBJ. And you can see it drops in, but it doesn't drop in exactly where the character was previously. It would have been nice as if it, if it lined up exactly. Um, but I do have to push and pull this into the correct place. And it doesn't seem like it's the exact same scale either um, because this is the same character and it doesn't quite fit him. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, the fit is not as perfect as you would think it would be since the OBJ and the OBJ are the same, same exact thing. So um, I'm going to scale this up just a little bit so it doesn't clash with his skin and I'll move it. And perhaps I think he actually, you know what, he's in a wrong position. So I'm going to change him to have the A pose. Find it. And we'll bring this in. And there we go. He's lining up a little bit more. So this will allow us to uh, get this on him fairly closely. That's good enough for this terrible shirt. Move it down. There we go. All right. Since this is basically just a trash shirt, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Um, learning this thing is is a little challenging. The um, the way that Marvelous Designer works is is not the most um, intuitive. There's a bunch of little icons, and you got to kind of figure out what does what. Um, not very descriptive and we will do transfer skin weights so we do it basically default and that will map the shirt to his bones and then we'll conform and maybe calculate this is where I ran into problems with the um, with the mesh because you can see once I do this uh, calculate collision the shoulder some of those fabric pieces that were sewn together Four have now split open and there's there's holes inside the model and I don't know whether welding on export will actually fix that I'm hoping it will I'm gonna try that uh, try that next time I make something but yeah overall looks pretty good I think next time I'm going to bring in the avatar in more of a T pose that'll allow me to build the fabric up underneath his arm a little bit better because I did notice that when um, and this is this you'll see this is a problem of having the flip normals because when I try to pull this um, 
some of this mesh out of his arm. It's selecting the wrong side and doing a bunch of crazy, weird stuff with the selection. So uh, that doesn't quite work. You gotta make sure I have all the normals flipped to the right direction. You can see the mesh looks a little bit weird as well on those arms. It's not as transparent. So I think there's definitely some issues with that. But anyway, we'll ignore that for now for this first test here. And um, I want to put this guy into another position after I see how this looks in iRay preview. And it looks okay. You'll notice later in the image that I actually exported, there was something a little bit weird going on with the collar. It's like a couple of the um, triangles rendered in, in a different material. I'm not sure why that happened. Um, but I'm gonna switch the pose of this guy and uh, render out something for, for him real quick. Now you see when I adjust this shirt here in the front, because of the fact that the normals are the right direction, it actually does adjust properly. So I'm gonna get this shirt selected, edit mesh, and I'm just gonna pull some of this fabric out so it clears the jeans quickly. Every time I do this calculate collision, it basically breaks the model and messes up the seam lines. So um, I'm gonna have to figure that out. Cause I've had other clothing that I've brought in from other places. And when you do that conform calculate collision, it, it never breaks the seams like that. So it must be something I did with the export of this actual shirt. Um, I don't need to figure out how to do that properly. But for a first try, um, it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of potential, so I'm gonna have to play around with it a lot more and see what I can create. So, um, just tweak this stuff a little bit more, and then I will render this guy. It is cool the way it gives it like kind of fabric feeling. Um, the wrinkles are really good. Um, it looks pretty natural and, you know, given the amount of time I spent on it. All right, so I hope you found this video interesting and uh, this is my first look at the program. Um, definitely not a good tutorial on how to use it. This is just uh, me kind of looking into what I did and kind of trying to uh, figure out the process, the best process for this. So hope you enjoyed watching. If you uh, find videos like this interesting, please subscribe and uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have any tips for a marvelous designer, things that I can do differently and uh, how those objects might be able to be brought into a uh, character creator for for use with these character designs. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.